So I'm back at home base and I'm doing a little bit of uh, pineapple development because it uh, turns out there was a little bit of a problem on the forums and uh, it just came to my attention that there was a problem with one of the USBs that we bundle with the Wi-Fi pineapple. This right here is a SanDisk Cruiser Fit and uh, we picked this guy, the 4 gig variety, because he has very low power requirements. I don't know why, but such a small unit, uh, the larger 8 and 16 and higher gig capacity guys use such high power capacity that um, they didn't work with uh, when the Wi-Fi pineapples uh, bundled with the uh, pineapple juice battery pack which was kind of insane um, and so raised an issue and so it turns out it figured out what it is it used to be that uh, the cruiser fits that we got came with uh, a firmware version 1.22 and the new versions that we get are on version 1.26 which fixes a bug uh, potentially in one of these guys but at the same time introduces higher power requirements causing these guys to not work. I uh, saw some uh, people in the forums that are having this problem and so I did some uh, some looking into it figured out that's why and now I have a solution well kind of um, actually it's a pretty cool solution in that the guys over at Domain hooked me up with these uh, USB drives um, at one of the Portland meetups and you know I've been giving these out along Hack Across America and so I thought I would try. I tried you know, that drive, I tried, um, you know, Super Talent, I tried, um, you know, some of these, you've seen the, the key one, and, you know, a bunch of these other drives, and um, turns out this one works great, and I'm really stoked that, um, you know, I can show you right now, like, how easy this is to set up, but um, I'm really stoked because I just determined that actually, if you take this drive here, I was kind of bummed out that it's, um, you know, it's a little bit bigger, than the sand disk, but it's not. It's not if you just pop it open there, and you'll see it's actually small inside. And this is just a little pigtail with an LED on it. But uh, this is what it comes down to: just this tiny little unit here. And um, and so yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you how you set this up. Basically, I'm in a I'm on a mint box here. So I'm going to fire up disks. My disaster recovery requires even more of those. And I'm going to head over to uh, my 4 gig drive now. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to hit the little button here and format. And you want to make sure that you set it up to ext4. Hit format, eject it when you're all set. And with your USB drive set up in ext4, you can just plug it into the pineapple. So plugged into my pineapple here now, the travel guy. And let me get started. Let's see. I'm going to sudo stop network dash manager. I don't like network manager because it kind of gets in the way. And um, if you're using a GNOME based system, you probably have that. All right, and then sudo uh, dot slash wp4.sh this is going to look better if I do that again there we go aha and I just basically plug in the ethernet Come on. and then just keep hitting enter and we're all set if I ping 8.8.8.8 .8 I am online and if I ping 172.16.42.1 I see the pineapple, so if I come over here to my browser, I can go over to USB, and there's my drive, the 8644, whatever, this is a uh, vendor code and a product code that all USB devices have. Interestingly, it doesn't have a description, but it's there, and if I go under uh, resources, since I've formatted it in ext4, it automatically mounts. There it is, 3.7 gigs available. Well, 3.4 available. There's already 121 megs used. It mounts under slash USB. And I can now head over to the pineapple bar. List available infusions. There's a bunch of great infusions here. I'm going to go ahead and just grab one. I like Site Survey by Whistlemaster. So I'm going to just hit install. It'll ask me where I want internal storage or USB. I say USB storage. It downloads it over the air from the App Store, from the module database from the Infusions, 
And there it is. Now I have it. I will pin it to my nav bar so it's always up here at the top. And click Site Survey. And there we go. I can see all of the different access points in the area, their signal strength. I can capture packets and all sorts of good stuff from within here. It's a pretty cool module. Um, there's a bunch in the pineapple bar, but now I have so many, you know, gigs available. Um, this is great for PCAP files, for everything. And I, at first I was so concerned, you know, that uh, this drive was so much larger than the SanDisk, but actually it turns out that's, can you even see that? It's tiny. So I'm stoked about that. How crazy is that? It totally worked out. All right. So yeah, that's what's going on. And uh, that's, that's the hacking to the one there. Cheers.